two billion lines of code run Google. Uh, wow. Now, Kevin, you're a coder. Is that a lot? <laughs> Sounds like quite a lot to me, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, lines of code is always, always a silly metric. Yes, I agree. But, yes. you know, it's just like, well, it depends how terse your language is. And it also encourages people to write ridiculous Perl scripts that fit on one line, which is, which is not helpful. Right, that's not good either. But, Microsoft Windows, they estimate uh, in the realm of 50, 50 million lines. This comes from Google's uh, Rachel Potter. That surprises me. That's I think a that's a low number. Code. I don't think that's accurate. Really? Um, and I, it's I, low? It's, oh, yeah. Absolutely, wow. that's low. Uh, a modern operating... I bet you uh, uh, Chrome... I, I bet you Chrome is 50 million lines. Really? I would think it would be more efficient than that. Well, lines doesn't mean anything. Yeah. That's not an inefficiency, as, as uh, no, Kevin's pointing out. Way. Some of those lines are comments. <laughs> but, 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 but Kevin's right there. Is that we lost the scarcity of space with memory. I remember way back when, when I worked on the San Francisco Examiner, and we had um, SII terminals. They were smart terminals for publishing. And when somebody put hyphenation and justification and managed to fit it locally in the terminal, that was just, that was mind-boggling that was possible. Absolutely mind-boggling that could be done. And it could be done because there was such incredible efficiency in the code. Chromium, it, which is the open source version of Google Chrome, of course, we can count the lines in the open source project, is 17 million lines of code. Okay. That's for a browser alone. Wow. So 50, I think, is low for Windows. But in any event, 2 billion, I don't know, again, like, like Kevin says, doesn't really mean anything, but it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a certain amount of hmm going on here. Uh, she, uh, Rachel uh, Potvin mentioned this at an engineering conference in Silicon Valley. It's an estimate. That includes Google Search, Gmail, Google Maps. Again, it's a rough estimate, although I suppose you could count them. Uh, they're in a single code repository. That, to me, is more interesting. All 25,000 Google engineers have access to the Google code repository. Uh, she says, and I think this is probably the case, it's the single largest single code repository anywhere in the world. Um, wow. Okay. That, right? That's a big deal, isn't it, Kevin? To put all of that code openly to it uh, in a repository. It's like one repository? That sounds, you know, that sounds a bit of an interesting well, if it's GitHub, you know, yeah. uh, it's, it's, GitHub it's, has a copy of it everywhere that it sits, so. Well, it's Git, Git, rather than GitHub, yeah. Yeah, it's um, Git, right? Yeah. Not GitHub, Git. I think it's Git now. It wasn't Git when I was there, but that may have changed. It was. Uh, it was in a, it, uh, I would a bunch bet they use Git. Do they use their own CV? Uh, um, there was a system? mixture of things. There was there was some that was in Mercurial, and there was some that was in um, Perforce. Oh, I'm sure it's all moved to Git by now. Um, they, they may well have moved to Git by yeah. now. I don't know. And they've, they've done a big project to move a lot of the external facing stuff to Git, certainly. So did you? I mean, when you were there, could you access this, the repository? Yeah, yeah, of course. That was. The, I mean, that's. I mean, that is true. That's the point. Is the point is that everyone can see the code. You've still got to send pull requests to people if you want to change things. But there's a yeah, process well, of doing I that. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's a complicated process of, of different kinds of committers and who gets to commit things. And you have to have what they call readability in different languages. Yeah. So that you have to, in order to um, submit changes to something in a certain language, you have to prove your competence in that language. And so there's there's a sort of a big peer process for this. Oh, this is interesting. So the main Facebook app is 20 million lines of code, according to this article. And Facebook and Google are working on an open source version control system based on Mercurial. We're attempt this is a potfin again. We're attempting to see if we can scale Mercurial to the size of the Google repository. Mm, there you go. So, yeah, because they have been use using Mercurial, which is the, the Python-based um, Get Explain to people who are not uh, programmers what a what a code repository is. Um, well, the point of having a source code control system is that it doesn't just keep um, the current version of the code, and that's useful. It keeps the, all the previous versions as well, unless you see when they've been checked in and out. Um, the, the, an analogy would be the edit history you see on Wikipedia. So you can go back to any particular previous version of the code. You can see who made the changes. Um, you And you can selectively also create what are called branches. So you say, okay, um, I want to go off and try a side project here um, that doesn't affect everybody else's code. Um, work on that. And then when you're, when you're happy with it, bring it back in. So there's, it's a model for um, doing lots and lots of edits on text in parallel um, and making sure that you have all the versions of it. And this is, you know, obviously, this is a core program problem for programmers. Before we had this, it was, you, 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 were, you were 
doing the same things people do with documents where you save like version one, version oh. two, and save copies and all that stuff. Um, and if you, you know, it's also, we, we get bits of this behind the scenes now in, if you look at, you know, Google Docs or um, words track changes and things like that, there is a sense that there are previous versions of the documents there. You know, Apple has like previous versions of the document. The versioning is very system. handy, yeah. But it's, but it's a, it's, um, it's a hard problem. But it's a lot of computer science has been thrown at it, so we've got good ways of doing it now.